What is going on everybody, Estas here. Welcome back to another video. So in this video, we're going to be doing an overall market update, looking at the Dow Jones, the S&P 500, and the NASDAQ. We're going to be talking about one trade that I made today on the 22nd of February in 2019, as well as taking a look at some other stocks and ETFs that performed very well today and that I see potential in over these next couple of weeks. So for everybody out there that enjoys the content here on YouTube, YouTube, you find value in these videos feel free to hit that like button down below guys it really does help the channel grow and if you're actually new to the channel and you want to stay connected with our community there's a free discord group chat you can click that down below as well we have about 500 600 members in there and we're talking on a day-to-day -day basis about strategies stocks what we're watching right you know news in the stock market and just bouncing ideas off of each other and just chatting pretty much all day guys so the group's got to the point where we're talking pretty much all day around the clock about stocks trading investing news everything that this channel is about so again if you guys want to get in there if you're not already in there links down below in the description box Hop in there, shoot me a message, and we can chat. So let's talk about you know what's going on right now in the overall market. We can see, well, you can't really see the clock here in the top right corner, but it's 2.40 p.m. at the time that I am recording this video. And if the market were to close right now, we would end the day on a green day. We see the SPX is up around $8, up around 0.3% right now. The Dow Jones is up around $88, up around 0.3% as well. And the NASDAQ right now is actually up the highest out of the three major indices, up around 0.41%, up around $30 on the day. So who knows, guys, maybe when I'm done recording this video and the next hour passes, we end up turning red. That could potentially happen, right? But at the time that I'm recording this, it's looking like we're pushing green, right? All the major indices, they're continuing their uptrends that we've been talking about over the past couple of videos. And let's just dive into some specifics here on the S. SPX, the Dow, and the NASDAQ, so we can get a better understanding of where we could be potentially moving over these next couple of weeks. So for all you guys that have been paying attention to the markets, and especially to these videos here on YouTube, we've been talking about these two resistances on the SPX, the one being at around 2790, where we're trading really close to right now, actually, and the second one being at around $2,815. These are two resistances from the massive sell-off that that we saw, you know, in the beginning of October in 2018, all the way towards, you know, the end of the year towards Christmas time is when we saw this big sell off, you know, creating these two resistances for us to break through if we want to potentially test those all time highs again in the stock market. And pretty much, guys, over these past two, three trading days, pretty much like this whole week, honestly, we've been having trouble getting above this resistance. And if we take a look closer, on this 30-day, 90-minute chart, we can see that, right? We can see on the 19th of February as well as the 20th, we had two consolidation days pretty much under that resistance having difficulties breaking above it. The next day, we actually dipped even lower. Possibly, you know, at this point, we possibly thought this was the point where we were pulling back. But with the pattern that we see today, guys, this is the continuation of the uptrend putting us again at this resistance. So judging off of this chart here, guys, we're still continuing the uptrend. The fact that we pushed up to a higher high today tells us just that. But Keep an eye on this, the latter half of the day today, on this rejection, right at that resistance we were just talking about, right? This could be the sign that we want to see for an official pullback back down to the 50 SMA here where we ended up holding yesterday, or possibly if we break that 50 SMA, we could be headed towards the bottom of this channel, which has been a support over these past couple of uh, weeks here, right? We can see that here, guys, the support level pulling back here does not seem, you know, too out of, you know, too out of uh, the reach here for that to happen, right? So we can see that very clear, guys. That's what I'm pretty much watching 
for this upcoming week. Are we going to end up breaking out of this resistance this upcoming week and out of the top of this channel, which is going to be a very bullish move? Or are we going to get rejected, test that 50 SMA support again, and then potentially test this support level at the end of the trend line, at the bottom of the trend line? Only time will tell, but that is what we're facing right now in terms of the SPX. Judging on the Dow Jones very quickly, guys, we can see this one very similar. You know, we saw the big sell off in you know the, the latter half of 2018. We all know that by now. We bottomed off at around 21,700, and we've been uptrending for the whole year of 2019. You know, pretty much right the whole entire year we've been going up in price, and we've noticed that we broke the resistance. From the beginning of uh, December here from 12 slash 3 when we tanked all the way down to the lows. So that's a good sign that we're now trading in between the channel of that resistance, which is now a new support, and the previous resistance at around $26,200. So keep an eye, guys. If we do push green for the next couple of days, you know, this could end up filling to the top here. Previous resistance and honestly pushing us to the top of this channel. So this this level here, about three, 400 points above from where we are right now in the Dow Jones, this level could be the spot where we could see, you know, potentially the Dow push to, which is honestly my goal target price right now for the Dow Jones. So, you know, very similar technicals here to the SPX, guys. We're trading in this channel here on these longer term, or rather these mid-range term charts here, like the 30-day chart. And one more green day pushing us to the top of this channel to that resistance doesn't seem too out of reach now as well, you know, in terms of this Dow Jones chart and the NASDAQ guys, you know, like we said, up around 0.4% right now. And this one's been struggling to get above the $7,100 level really for a while now, not really a while, but you know, about 10 days, which does seem like forever in terms of, uh, you know, trading days sometimes, but that's a whole different story. But you know, this one's been struggling for 10 days at this point to get above this level and if it does end up getting to that $7,100 level you know I'm going to be looking to see if it's going to fill to the upside here to that previous resistance at about uh, $7,200 which was from the beginning of November in 2018 when we took that big dip guys so nothing crazy not much movement so far today who knows the markets could end up turning red in this next hour and 50 minutes that we do have open but as of now you know if we close the day we'd be up 0.4 percent and it would just be another you know regular day um you know another regular small green day in the overall markets but again things can change in the snap of a finger who knows guys sometimes crazy things do end up happening so let's talk about what i ended up trading today very quick day for me today guys you know on a little quick day trade on j nugget for those of you guys that were in the group chat this morning we were talking about jnug due to the big pullback that the gold futures actually have been taking over these past couple of days and for those of you guys that have not been paying attention you know gold futures were at about 1350 I believe uh, about three days ago or something, right? Three, four days ago, they were at 1350, and we took that big pullback, breaking below the previous resistance at around 1330, which was a new support. So the fact that we did break that, that kind of worried me for a potential bigger sell off in gold. You know, fortunately, and why I ended up trading it today, we did not get that bigger sell off, but we ended up holding on that 50 SMA at around 1325, which ended up opening opening my eyes to this trade today guys so we can see we broke that you know we broke this resistance here or the previous support or the, actually the previous resistance which is now a support we broke it but we ended up holding the 50 SMA for the higher low and this is honestly telling me that we're continuing this uptrend pattern in the gold futures so i ended up taking a very quick day trade today in jnug which pretty much goes up in price when the gold futures do go up in price and if we take a little bit of a closer look here on these futures you can see 1350 we topped off, we pulled back getting rejected by the 50 SMA and the 180 SMA, and we noticed 
two breakout patterns here to the upside. What do we notice? We see the double bottom here, which is a sign of a reversal to the upside. Very good sign here. And then we see the 50 SMA, um, you know, the break above the 50 SMA and the break above the 180 SMA. That's a, that's a second sign. And we honestly see three signs because the 50 SMA is also crossing above the 180 SMA, which does show or uh, issue rather, you know, bullish, bullish movement in a stock indices you know, uh, future um, ETF, whatever you're doing your research on, right? That issues, that's really showing that there's more bullish potential in that particular chart. So we see all those different signs here, which opened up my eyes to JNUG today. And we saw JNUG was up around 6%, I believe, or something. But I caught it this morning on this little push to the upside. Literally, guys, for a very small trade, it was like a 0.7% profit. Literally, I just wanted to lock it in very quick because it was Friday. I'm having a pretty good week this week and uh, I didn't want to end up screwing myself over on Friday you know last day of the week I always like ending off strong and uh, pretty much that's what I ended up doing guys right we saw that big sell-off in gold this morning if we do notice on this shorter term chart we see the sell-off here this morning down to back down to about 1320 and then we see the big bullish moves you know into the market open starting at around 8 15 a.m we see those two big pumps back up to 1330 we held that heading into the market open and then we slowly started to make those higher highs higher lows all the way up to around 1 p.m actually but this was after i ended up selling off and now we're seeing the big dump so where did i end up trading it guys it was just a very quick um you know 0.7 profit trade here nothing too crazy ended up getting in i believe at around this was at like 10 15 or something like that ended up getting in at 10 15 and literally scalping this one very quickly and for in the matter of like 10 15 20 minutes here guys literally from 10 15 up to around 10 35 quick little scalp on JNUG. That was my day trade for the day. For those of you guys that have been watching the videos, I actually didn't day trade much this week because I've been swing trading three separate stocks. One being Microsoft that actually went up like crazy today. If I held my position in Microsoft, I would have made an extra 1.52%. Ended up taking my profits yesterday, playing it very safe. And for those of you guys that missed that video, go check out that video from yesterday. I talked about my Microsoft trade, but I took a 2% profit roughly on that trade yesterday. That was one of my swing trades. Another one is CAT, guys, which I'm still actually holding. This one's looking like it's going to close the day down a little bit. You know, I'm up still on this position because I did get in on this initial break above the 137.75, 138, um, uh, you know, uh, support resistance here. But I'm up a very minimal amount right now, guys. I'm pretty much at my break even price. And I'm actually possibly considering in this next hour or so closing out my position in cat but i do want to see you know if it does seem like it's holding this resistance as a new support heading into the weekend i might consider holding it through and i guess i'll just update you guys on that um you know on sunday's video i'll let you know what i ended up doing but as of right now i'm pretty much barely green on the position i'm pretty much near the break even price and i'm considering whether or not i'm still considering whether or not i want to cut not really cut but just take my profits or just sell out of my position again i'll just let you guys know in the next video so that's just a quick little update on cat uh, ticker symbol cat so another one that i'm actually still holding and is one of those three swing trades that i was talking about is j and j guys and this one did very well today at one point i do believe it was up around a dollar per share today and this was right before i started recording this video we can see it was all the way up to 136.62 putting it up around a dollar dollar ten per share it was up around 0.7.8 percent at that point and for those of you guys that don't remember this is one that i've been in for a couple of days now right around the 135 ish area is where i'm holding j and j still and i'm pretty green on this position and this is one that i am going to be holding into the weekend johnson and johnson uh ticker symbol j and j and uh, that's just pretty much the update for that one not really much to say about it still green on it and planning on holding that one through so that is what i ended up doing today in terms of my trading guys quick little update on those swing trades and 
Another one that I want to talk about today, you saw it in the title, was you guys, guys. Ticker symbol UGAZ. So today, we're seeing a break in natural gas that seems very, very bullish. And for those of you guys that have not been watching my videos, I've been talking about multiple patterns and indications that are showing on a technical basis that natural gas is reversing to the upside. And let's go over those now very quickly for those of you guys that have not watched this vi uh, those videos. And guys, this is showing a great, great potential for you guys, right? We've been talking about this, and let's just take a look at it right now. So the first bullish sign or reversal pattern, rather, that we're seeing is the double bottom. That's the first one we're seeing here, double bottom at 255, meaning that... That's a good chance that, you know, uh, natural gas is pushing to the upside, right? That's one sign we're seeing. The second sign we're seeing is the break out of this downwards trending channel indicated by this channel, right? These two trend lines that we're seeing, we're seeing a break out of that, which is a break of pattern to the upside. That's the second sign we're seeing. The third sign we're seeing here is these candlesticks breaking out of the 50 SMA resistance to the upside and eventually out of the 180 SMA resistance. That's another sign we're seeing. And another sign, even another sign, we're seeing the 50 SMA breaking above the 180 SMA. That's a very bullish sign as well. And the last one we want to see, guys, is a break above 270, which at this point, we are right at that price. So if we do break 270, that's going to be a huge bullish move to the upside for natural gas, which with the next resistance being at around 290, guys. So from 270 to 290, this could be the next gap in natural gas, meaning you gas is going to go absolutely berserk if this does end up happening. And this is the number one ETF I'm actually watching for this next week. And my personal opinion, guys, we're already trading above this previous resistance, which is now a new support in terms of you guys, with the next resistance being at around $36. We're already breaking above the 180 SMA. And we see from here to that next resistance, there is about 12% margin of profit in terms of you guys so i'm watching you guys very closely guys and if we do end up breaking that 270 level in terms of natural gas we start to close the gap up to 290 that's going to be a huge 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 indication that you guys are going to be a pretty good play and i'm personally probably going to trade that you know if that ends up happening so you guys guys watch that one very closely this upcoming week it's looking pretty solid and just to talk about some other stocks that did very well today and i'm kind of bummed out because i literally called these stocks out I talked about these stocks in a couple of videos this week, and I didn't trade them, right? Don't you kick yourself when you call out stocks. They go out perfectly to what you call them out to go, and you don't trade them, right? So the first one, I didn't personally call this one out. Somebody in the Discord called this one out first. I started watching this one, and this one is YY, and this one literally did exactly what we talked about in yesterday's video, and I didn't end up trading it. And for those of you guys that watched yesterday's video, we were talking about this one on the big pullback from 75 down to about 70, but it was holding the uptrend, which was very attractive, um, you know, in this particular stock, and that's what we were talking about in yesterday's video. And what do we see here today, guys? Well, it held that and held that uptrend yesterday. Actually, yesterday, we saw it consolidated all day, slowly started to push up towards the close of the day. Very good sign. And we can see, guys, pretty much it held and maintained that uptrend pattern heading into today. And I completely, completely missed out on trading YY. So for those of you guys that, you know, saw this call out, profited on it, let me know down below in the comment section. Of course, don't just trade what I personally say in these videos, but if you see value in the stocks that I'm trading or talking about and you understand them for yourself and you take the risk for yourself on your personal opinion, then go ahead and trade what you're um, seeing on these chan on these videos, right? But don't just blindly trade what I'm saying here, right? That's the whole idea. So that's just one that did very well. 
that somebody in the Discord group chat ended up calling out that I personally talked about in yesterday's video and that I did not trade. So another one was Billy, guys. For those of you guys that have been watching the videos, Billy is one that I was talking about a couple of videos ago, especially because we popped up above this level here up to around 1950. We pulled back, ended up breaking uh, or testing rather the same resistance at around 1830. And we were waiting for that pop above 1830 to fill the gap back to this previous resistance back from the 14th of February. And well, guys, we did exactly that, right? We did exactly that today up 7% in the stock, up around $1.30 in the stock. But I did not end up trading it. I am a fool. I'm kicking myself. But you can't get greedy, guys. That's the whole entire um, idea here. Sure, there are going to be stocks that you call out that do well that you don't end up getting in. But be grateful. Be thankful for the profits that you did make, which in my case today, I made money on JNUG. I made about 0.7%, which is a fraction of what I could have made if I traded this. But the whole idea here is that I'm still thankful right i'm glad that i'm able to be green and be consistent because that's the whole entire idea here you know to becoming a good trader in general you have to be consistent right that's the whole goal so i missed out on billy i'm not too mad but i'm still kicking myself a bit but i understand that it does happen and you got to just focus on the next trading day when these types of things do happen so for this week, guys, what I'm going to be waiting for is you guys, first and foremost, I'm going to be watching JNUG to see if gold continues that uptrend. JNUG is going to be doing very well. I'm going to be watching Billy, possibly to see if it breaks out of 1930. This one could continue to run if it does do that, guys. If we do see the breakout, that could be a good spot. Or if we pull back and test the support again, we could be forming some sort of horizontal pattern here horizontal channel which we could be trading in and out of for a couple of days that could also happen there i'm going to be watching uh what's the other one we talked about of course j and j cat ticker symbol cat to potentially add more money into those and honestly guys that's pretty much it you know if the markets do end up pulling back this week i'm going to be trading tvix which goes up when the overall markets are you know selling 